So we're doing genetic testing. So background of genetic testing, um, we found the relationships between chromosomes and cancer and other mutations and health um, problems in 1902. And then it, that rose to want us to find different ways that we could detect these earlier and earlier. So um, medical testing identifies changes in chromosomes, like if we're missing a chromosome or if we have an additional chromosome, things that we can detect prenatal. Um, so before 1966, the only way we could detect these was um, postnatal after birth. And then after 1966, we were able to use prenatal ways to find these detections in our karyotypes and in our chromosomes. Um, earlier forms of genetic testing in the 1950s, that's when we kind of started being able to look at different um, genes and chromosomes and see which ones, um, if we got rid of one, what does, or mutations came from it. Um, future illnesses and suspected diagno uh, diagnosis. That's just, um, if we did detect one, we would be able to know which mutations and which disease would come from it. Like if we have an additional 21 chromosome, it would lead to Down syndrome. And that was kind of detected in like the 1950s to late 1950s. Um, Chromosome banding, uh, so between 1950 and 1980s was when we started to um, advance in our ways in detecting different gene mutations. And then in 1970s was when we first began to use chromosome banding to find additional chromosomes or a deletion of chromosomes or anything like that. And then in 2017, um, we found that people wanted to see their family history and we saw a boom and people wanted to go find their ancestors and where they came from. Before getting into genetic testing, it's important to speak with a genetic counselor to talk about the procedure, risks and benefits, costs of genetic testing, and they will discuss with you the results. The procedure of genetic testing is getting a sample of DNA, and as you can see in this picture, there is various ways you can get samples of DNA. It is then taken to a laboratory where technicians will separate the DNA and take out the specific piece that they're looking for to determine a mutation. There's also various types of genetic testing depending on your family history, what you're looking for, and those tests will give you a result. They can either be positive, negative, or un unclear or undetermined. Positive means that the mutation that they were looking for, you have it. Negative means you don't have it. And uncertain means that there's not enough information to tell. However, these results can be very complicated. So it's extremely important to talk to your genetic counselor because they will go through everything with you and determine what steps are best for you and your family to take. On another note, the cost of genetic testing is an important topic to discuss. The cost can range anywhere from $100 to $2,000. However, there are lots of insurances that cover part or all of it. And with genetic testing becoming more and more popular, they're also becoming cheaper and cheaper, which is great for geneticists and people as a whole because we are more, we're able now to determine any mutations, whether it's prenatal or postnatal and due to technology and advances that have happened, it is now available to do prenatal testing as well. So the question that we're answering is, is genetic testing proven unsafe? The answer is no. Genetic testing, all health-related testing, such as genetic testing, all have to have federal regulatory standards, such as the Clinical Laboratory Improvement Amendments. And this ensures that all the genetic testing being done is valid. On top of that, they are also regulated by the FDA to make sure that they're safe. So all genetic testing being done through a laboratory is both valid and safe proven by both the CLIA and FDA. However, there are genetic tests that are available to the public and you have to be careful with those because not all of them are CLIA certified. So that means that 
the validity of those tests are not 100%. And so you need to watch out for that. As mentioned before, it's important to visit your genetic counselor to discuss any risks and benefits that can occur when getting a genetic test. However, the benefits do outweigh the risk. The benefits of genetic testing um, is that the genetic test is able to give you information of you and your child's genetic make makeup. Also, a genetic test can give you a diagnosis and that could later, later lead to a treatment and help finding better support. Also, a genetic test can inform you if you have an increase of risk of cancer, like breast cancer, and you can go in for more frequent checkups and you can measure it regulatory and help prevent the cancer from spreading. Another benefit to genetic testing is it provides useful information for those wanting to have future children and wanting to start a family. And the list of information modern technology can detect about fetal genes is growing and therefore providing more information to parents throughout more of the pregnancy. And knowing you have an increased risk of having, um, of having a child with a genetic condition can also leave the parents more mentally and physically prepared. Now we're gonna talk about the risks and limitations. When taking a genetic test and you're waiting around, you can form a whole mix of emotions like fear and anxiety or even guilt. And that could be a limitation. And also um, when taking a genetic test, there may not be a diagnosis and vice versa. There may be a diagnosis and not a treatment, therefore causing more emotion of that and also um, some genetic tests can't detect certain mutations or change in the genetic um, information therefore not being able to provide a treatment or a diagnosis for that patient. Thank you for joining us and listening to our presentation about genetic testing. The last thing that we have to discuss with y'all is is genetic testing ethical? My group and I discussed after gathering all of our information that we believe that it is ethical because there's a lot of regulations set in place to make sure that all of the tests are valid and safe for the public and also there are more benefits than there are risks but there's a lot of controversy on the subject and many people would argue that it's not ethical because now that the technology is available to get prenatal testing done, you can determine mutations before and some people, depending on the results that they get, might not want that baby to live anymore. And then we're jumping into, is it ethical or not? But based off of just what we've heard, we believe that it is ethical because, because it's a better way to understand you, your family, and prevent future sickness or any other health-related problems.